Alright guys, I finally got the rest of my stuff I needed to start my windmill installation. As y'all know, at least I, yeah, I think y'all know, my system used to be a 24 volt system. Now I went to 48 volts. So my wind turbines hadn't been hooked up to my battery bank. For one, um, my battery bank now is 48 volts, so I needed this here, which was a 48 volt dump load, because my other dump load was a 24 volt. So I got the 48 volt dump load. Then I needed to get this right here, which is a battery monitor. It monitors the battery, and if the battery start to get full, it dumps it into this dump load which I don't know if I'm going to use this dump load or not I'm thinking about putting two uh, water heating elements 48 volt water heating elements into a hot water tank and dump the extra power into the hot water tank that way at least it'd be hooking up it'd be heating up water Instead of just heating up the room, especially in the summertime, that thing right there gets pretty hot during a like a windstorm or something. Uh, so I had to get this solenoid, the little t uh, battery monitor, which monitors the battery. It dumps the load, and it also uh, you can also turn different things on with this if you if you want to turn you know stuff on with I'm using it as a dump load on here we got two shunts the shunts is to bring uh, the power coming in from the wind turbine I'll be able to monitor how many amps is coming in and what the volts is got two volt meters these right here tell you volts up top and the amps at the bottom so it'll tell you how many volts is coming in and how many amps is coming in from the battery so we got two of those, we got two shunts, and this, all of this stuff came today. So, we getting close to starting to put the wind turbine, I, I just got to figure out where exactly I want to mount this stuff, and uh, how I want to do it, like I said, whether I want to use this dump load here, or I want to use the 24, I mean the 48 volt water heating elements and dump the extra power into the batteries to make hot water so uh just wanted to let y'all know that this ain't gonna be a long video i wanted to uh let you know i got the stuff because i know people have been asking me when was i going to hook the wind turbines and get them up and going if anybody that sees this video have used a wind turbine on their Nissan Leaf batteries drop a comment down there and let me know maybe put a link to your video I like to see what you have done other than that I'm gonna call it a night and when I get started hooking all of this stuff up I will get some video step-by-step -step video as I'm going along and I upload it in different stages so you can see how everything is going Alright, see y'all later. Have a good night.